you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, we coolin' out, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, you cool, I'm cool, we coolin' out. Yo, what's up everybody? It's coolin' out, we are back. It is Kev. And it is Rao on this Christmas edition episode. Of the Cooling Out Podcast. Yeah. How you doing, man? I need a little bit of juice in me for this episode. I don't feel like I have enough of the the jolly spirit in me right now. Yeah, I told you, pre-production, do what you have to do. Yeah, need to get a quick fix. A little little sleepy, (laughs) you know, but (laughs) we're going to try to, you know, pick it up and and get through it. (laughs) How you doing? I'm all right, man. I've been good. You know, work week has been... Work's been insane, but uh, got Christmas Eve and Christmas off, supposedly. Nice. Uh, but I'll be working on Christmas Eve. You know how that go. Um, mm-hmm. Christmas, uh, maybe not, but it'd be nice to have two days off next week. Yeah. Yeah. But outside of that, man, I've been, I've been good. It's going to be 63 degrees down here on Christmas. Can't complain too much about that. You know, yeah, count your blessings. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm good though. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, caught up on all my loose ends at work. Mm-hmm. I'm done for the year, thankfully, and so I'm chilling, just getting ready for this time off, just getting rid of uh, getting everything else done. So, finish mm-hmm. that work, getting the podcast stuff situated, and getting ready for the road. Um, Wait, you all work for the rest of the year? Yeah, man. God bless you. I worked hard. They said I deserved it. God, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless PTO. But uh, I'm good. So good. I saw good. Uh, the Joe Budden podcast live on Thursday. Really good. Oh, how was that? Yeah? That was really good, yeah. Where was it? Yeah, impressive. Uh, Beacon Theater. Oh. Yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah, good show. It's crazy um, how like they overtook Brilliant Idiots. Well, if you let Brilliant Idiots sell it, that ain't the case. But yeah, they moving. <laughs> Look, man. I, I spoke to I, I I spoke to I haven't listened to Brilliant Idiots in a while, so I don't. I don't nah, they, I don't really know. They're still good. They're still good. Yeah, you shouldn't do. Yeah, they re nah. they re um, they rebounded from um when was that last summer or was it this yeah. Time? Whatever summer that was. That was last it was, summer. But it, there was it some was looking shaky, yeah. Yeah, a couple episodes where they weren't appearing in the same, like they just weren't on the same pods together anymore. I was like, oh. I mean, the feds was coming for Charlemagne, but they they got all that handle. <laughs> they got all that handle. But they, they back on track? I have to, oh, yeah, I have definitely. To, I, have to, I have to check it out. I like. I have I like even unsubscribed from it. Like haven't seen Damn. an update on my phone. From, I mean, it just wasn't like the it wasn't good anymore. And I got tired of like hearing um what was the other show that shows the shows was doing? Uh, Flagrant Two. Yeah, I, I just didn't care for it, and having that pop up on the same feed, I was like, I didn't subscribe mm-hmm. to this. So, you know, unsubscribe. I you. But I'll I'll resubscribe. Show them some love. Nah, yeah, they're good again. Yeah, they last couple. Gotcha. So, but you've seen both of them live now. You've seen mm-hmm. B.I. and you've seen Joe. Which, which one do you think was better out of your live experience? That's tough because I saw Brilliant Idiots like four years ago. So it's kind of tough to... Mm. Um, This one had more... It's really... T- this one had a, a bit more variety on the show like they did their the talk segment and they talked about topical stuff recap some decade stuff but then they did they had like cartoon shorts that they created they had they play these games called they did one it's called for the love of mall and they brought up three women on stage for joe three women on stage for mall and they blindfolded them both so they do like kind of different stuff Mm-hmm. To just break up the show and just you just sitting there for a, a podcast, like gotcha. they brought up a couple on stage and then they brought up a single person and they tried to have the single person flirt with somebody in the couple, so they try to have some like nuance and variety. 
So it's different. I won't say it's better. It's different. And I haven't seen a Brilliant live show again for like four years. So it's kind of tough. But it was entertaining. It was funny. Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, man. Aside from that, just getting ready to pack and hit the road tomorrow. I got a uh, Um, holiday party, a Christmas party tonight. One of them ugly mm -hmm. sweater joints. Oh, Um, those, those should be fun, though. Yeah, I wasn't going to go, but then you know what? I saw my family <laughs> yesterday and today, and I said my goodbyes. And it's like, let me go be a little, you know, social. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I hit the road. So. Yeah, That's man, good. no complaints. Yeah, I'm jealous you got you off to the rest of the year. I was talking to um, one of my coworkers, and she was saying that, like, one of the partners was telling her that New Year's Eve, like, just expect to be here till, like, 9. Hmm. And I, I was like, damn, so like New Year's Eve, you want me to get up at nine and three hours later be like, happy New Year's is all good? <laughs> I thought you said they were closed New Year's Eve. No, 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 no. Next year. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they, they're giving it to us next year. Yikes. Yeah, no cool. love in our world. Mm-mm-mm. Let's jump into it, though. We yeah, these have Christmas these Christmas games. Well, one, so what do you think of the schedule this year? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? No, what do you think of the schedule this year as a whole? I mean, I think it's – let me let me, let me me pull it up just so I'm not just talking. Because okay. I obviously I only really care about one game. But, I mean, no, I think it's good. I think they did – except for this Rockets-Warriors. Move that. Yeah, that's like, the glaring. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, no one's, that's like, no one's going to want to see that. Like, they, and they have to have some room for flex on this thing. Like, the Warriors are trash. This one, I don't, I don't know what they could have done. Because I got to, nah, you got to lock. Christmas Day, yeah, you have to move, yeah. you have to, you'd have to move, like, another team's uh, playing date and all that stuff. Yeah, but like, what do you expect for that? Yeah. Celtics, oh, no. Raptors, that should be good. Buck 76ers should be good. Clippers, mm-hmm. Lakers, obviously going to be the best game of the whole night. But then even the Pelicans, like, they just, they bet too heavy on the Pelicans and the Warriors. Yeah, injuries kind of submarine this a little bit. Yeah, I'm, not staying up at, I'm not staying up at 10, to 10.30 at night to watch the Pelicans and the Nuggets. That's going to be boring. I never stay up in the ten thirty slot though. Anyway, so I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna hold them on that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm definitely true. not. I'm definitely not. Yeah, I, I, I wish, I wish Steph was playing. Like I wish Steph would hurt and come back and stop playing games. I badly wish he was playing to save this game because oh, yeah. they gonna get their heads caved in. Yeah, this is an have. atrocity. Right now, Golden State has the line. This might be incorrect. They have six wins. It's definitely incorrect. <laughs> yeah, ESPN has Golden State minus one and a half. There's no way in the hell. <laughs> like, yo. Again, they got six wins. That's definitely not correct. <laughs> I need to bet this up. I need to I wish I, I need to go to Caesars, bet this up. What are they, what are they talking about? Nice, right, hit up your bookie. He got you. <laughs> if only life was that easy. Oh, I see. Well, we do know a bookie. Well, oh, yeah. We know. We, know. <laughs> we do know a bookie. We'll uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about those weekly I did too. Bet, bet line reminders. <laughs> Daily for a time. Daily. Here's what I'm taking. I'm t- <laughs> oh, man. But. I mean, Celtics Raptors is gonna be good, but these are really like two teams I have like no interest in. Like as far as yeah. seeing them match up, I mean, it's gonna be I'm gonna watch it obviously because it's a noon game, so it's good to get the day started with a, with a good matchup. Mm-hmm. But the Celtics and the Raptors, like having watched both of them on League Pass, neither one of them, one of, neither one of their playing styles is appealing to me nor entertaining to me. Yeah, it's just like all right, cool. Tom's gonna fly by, and then also Siakam's out. He's not playing on Christmas? He's out for an indefinite amount of time. I think he, like, tore his groin or something. Are you see? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's out indefinitely. Yikes. Okay. 
I'm so not watching kinda like, I get it. Yeah, I didn't know he so was in kinda, too. Yeah, so that kind of like who we watching? Kyle Lowry, Mark Gasol, Van Bleet. Oh, you should have led with that. Oh, then it's just the two thirty and the eight o'clock game. That's it for me. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> else worth watching. Now, yeah, I just checked. You're right. Yeah, he's out. As of Thursday, this past Thursday. Mm-hmm. Damn. And they're going to get some low ratings on Christmas. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Well, they got that Bucks 76ers and the Clippers Lakers. That's going to be a good game at eight. Those two are worth it. Yeah. But then again, the way the Sixers, 76ers are looking, I don't re- Like, they. They yeah, not they a disappointment bad. per se. That's no, a they're strong word. They're disappointment. Huh? They're you use that word for them? So far. Yep. They twenty and ten. So far, I would say they're the underachieving. East. They're six in the Ooh. east. They're a disappointment so far. The 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 seventy sixes are sixth in the east. Yep. Granted, oh my um, god, four to six are lumped by like a win or two. So at most they could be fourth, but still it's a disappointment. It was supposed Whoa. to be like them and the Bucks were supposed to be head and shoulders above everybody else, and they they're not even middle of the pack right now. Well, technically I guess they are. Wow, right, they're a disappointment. They got the most nah, talent right. of any team in the East. You're right. Wow, they are a disappointment. They six in the East. Wow, I didn't realize they were that low. Mm-hmm. That's you losing disturbing. to the Mavs without Luca? I mean, come on. That's not yeah. That's not a good look. Last and then yeah. not even like you just lost. They lost by like eighteen, maybe twenty. Come on, yeah, almost twenty points. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. That, that's not I mean, a good look. They just so to their, def- to their defense, yeah. though. Tim Hardaway did go off yesterday. Oh no! Stop it. I would not. I watched the. I watched the condensed uh, game this morning. Listen, 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 listen. I watched the condensed game this morning, right? Tim mm-hmm. Hardaway, like in the first, I think in the first quarter, he had eighteen points, and he was like five for five from three, and four of those five were contested threes. No one expects that out of Tim Hardaway Jr., beloved. If they lose that's to only, the Bucks, that's, 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 that's the only excuse I got. <laughs> if they lose to the Bucks in a seven game series, is that a disappointment? Nah, just not just no because the way Giannis is playing, like Giannis is to me is playing like how Braun was playing, like a young Braun when he was with Cleveland, when he was by himself when he was literally carrying the team on his back, taking them to the finals, Eastern Conference Finals, all that stuff. Look at the way Giannis is playing. Like he's he's beasting. Okay. And I, I don't think it's Braun made one finals during that original run. And this could be the one that Giannis makes. Okay. All right. Because think about it, right? And also Giannis has better pieces around him than Braun had. Mm-hmm. Who's on that team? I mean, <laughs> he's still got Bledsoe, nah, Bacon. Middleton. No, no, Bledsoe, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez is still uh his a brother, decent, <laughs> Robin his, nacho, his brother just a body. Uh, Cal <laughs> Corver, George Hill, these are decent pieces, mm-hmm. you know, like formidable players, you know, to to make a, a team. I just the only the only reason why I, w- I would say it's not a disappointment is because the Sixers can't shoot. Like there, there's true. clear there's clear flaws on that team. So and the Bucks can shoot the three, except for, you know with uh, Giannis being the. Um, the only person that can't shoot threes. So outside of that, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a disappointment. I mean, I walking into the season saw them coming out of the East, but now after watching them play for thirty games, there's no way in hell. Are you flipping your pick? Huh? <laughs> Are you flipping your pick? Yeah, I, I got Giannis coming out the East. All right. Not even the Bucks, just Giannis. Gotcha. All right. I, I just be a good game, though. Yeah, well, I, I'll let Christmas determine that. Like, I just, I have to see because this is their first time playing this year. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I'll, I'll see how how they play head head to head. 
And that'll give me a more, because all, all of the stuff is about matchups, you know? So that'll give me a more uh, formidable idea of how I think, you know, that, that uh, series would go. It's just tough in a, a seven-game series. I know Giannis is going to get his numbers, but Bledsoe and Middleton and Embiid and Simmons are going to lose in a – I guess we'll see. I'm going to stick let's with just, them, but they've been disappointed. But we'll see. Let's just say yeah. it shakes out the way it shakes out right now, right? And With a playoff lineup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, even if they move up like to four, like say in the Sixers, right now the Bucks are going to play Charlotte. Like oh, they're going to demolish. Like the, yeah, the teams in that range are like Charlotte, Orlando, or Detroit. Some of the team; those are the teams in that fighting for that eight spot range. They're gonna <clears throat> mm-hmm. they're gonna demolish like those teams. They're gonna that's that's a, that's a sweep. Demolish, yep. Whereas the Sixers are going to end up playing someone like the Heat or Toronto yeah. or yeah, Indiana. Oh, yeah, that so that's going to be – I see that I see that being like a six-game series minimum. I will, But they're all lumped, I will say that. It seems the Bucks are running away with the number one seed, but they could get – they're a half a game back from second. Like, it's that close right now between two and uh and six, so. They yeah, could, I mean, they get – if they get second – I honestly like just looking at the way the well, Sixers play. A game back, but it's close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they can get second. I can see them struggling right now. Who's seven? The Nets. They can. I can see them struggling with them. Spencer didn't really yeah. taking them like to t- six <laughs> games. I'm not even. Like, I can see them. The Spencer didn't really let Nets taking them to I six agree. games. I agree. I'm with you. It's sad. It's yeah. Sad. It'd be a good game. I- I'm glad. Well. Ideally, I would have hoped the schedule had five bangers on them, but two potential conference previews are pretty dope. So, I'm trying to think: has there ever been a year though where the Christmas schedule has been all bangers? Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. But, Probably not. Usually, yeah, because the Knicks were involved for a couple years. Oh October. my God, they just kept oh, putting yeah, the Knicks right. on there. So you. I think the hope was like three out of five. I'm trying to think last year. Lakers Warriors was the banger. Heading in, we didn't know Braun was going to get injured. Yeah. Rockets? They faced, I forgot who the Rockets faced. It might have been OKC. I forgot. But yeah, you're right. They're never all bangers, so. Yeah. But is it impossible to like make them all bangers? I guess so, because you kind of have to plan it like so far in advance and you don't really know how any team's going to shake out and injuries and, and things of that nature. That's the thing. You can't account for injury. Yeah. Cause if these, if even Steph was playing in this Rockets game, Rockets Warriors game, it'd be more intriguing. Yeah. And then Zion <laughs> playing would make that more intriguing. So they wouldn't all be bangers still, but they'd definitely be more intriguing. It's like, I'm not yeah. even going to, Turn on the TV for three out of these five games. I just look at yeah. the box score. Yeah, I don't want to watch Van the Van Vliet led. Oh, I'm not doing that. I didn't. Yeah, no, yeah, you, still got, you still got Kyle oh. Lowry. No, you still have Kyle Lowry. I'm good. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm good. You gonna just I'm enjoy good. the nature in Maine? You sure you don't want to watch Kyle Lowry? Your time with family. But now, when I, when I do stray away and when I'm looking at my phone, it's like, come on. I done gave you two and a half, five hours now. <laughs> Facts. Now you got it. Now you got a real excuse to leave with it. With it exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah, so we don't have to talk about, yeah, Rockets Wars, whatever. Clippers Lakers. Yeah. As I mentioned, I was out on Thursday. I need to <laughs> – tell me what you saw against the Bucks. I need to – Um, I don't want to say what I got to (laughs) say. It wouldn't be the first time. (laughs) It it just, I know, but it hurts me every time. It just didn't look good. I'll say that. It looked like somebody was pacing themselves. Uh Uh-huh. But, I mean, the thing about it is that, like, when Braun is hitting his threes, I feel like he gets, he becomes too reliant on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to see... Remember three years ago, 
when the first times I saw Chris Paul, when I felt like he couldn't get around anyone, mm-hmm. and he was just like left. I, I started I started seeing that with Braun, where he couldn't get around. Like, um, he parallel had Brooke dribbling? Lopez, parallel. He oh, had no. Brook Lopez on him three times to come to mind, and he couldn't get around him. Oh. And he, I mean, granted, he did that 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 step back three, and he made two of them. But then it was like one instance where they were within, so they were down by like twenty at one point. They were down most of that game, and then they went on one fast, like they went on one uh one run, and cut it to wit within nine, right? No, within six. Sorry, within six. And then Reggie Miller's normally a terrible uh commentator, but he made one good point. He was like, "Look, this is," he said. If Braun takes this three, this is going to be a six-point swing. Braun took this ill-advised three, missed it. George Hill comes down, the, <laughs> comes down the court and shoots a three, and and the lead goes goes from six, and the the, the Lakers had all the momentum and it spread back out to nine, and then Giannis came back in and just opened that motherfucker back up. Yeah, to like fifteen, and I'm like, it just didn't make any sense. Like they were on a fast break. Braun attacked the attacked the rim. Make it a four point lead. He stops, pulls up, shoots a three. It just, and he got a triple double, but it just wasn't a meaningful triple double. Like, in no point whatsoever that, that I feel like when he was doing something that it was going to ch- change the course of the game. Now, Anthony Davis, mm. on the other hand, in the mm. third and the third and the fourth quarter, what he was doing single handedly was keeping them in the game. Because yeah, when Tom was running low, uh-huh. he was attacking the rim, getting to the free throw. I think he shot like 15 for 17 from the free throw line. So, like, even when he was some, – some alone, I'm somewhere around there. I know he shot over 17 free throws, though. But all of his, like, baskets and, and his mentality to attack came when it mattered most. So when they were down by a lot, stop the clock, get to the free throw line, make free throws, make some defensive stops, stop the clock, get to the free throw line, make free throws. Like it was all that kind of stuff like that allowed the game to be closer and and, and gave the Lakers a a semi chance of, of winning that game. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, and then Giannis was just beasting. Five for five from three, or not five for five, but he made five threes. Um, two of them were in bronze face. And then one time he made it, and the Lakers called timeout, and then he walked up the court like making the, like, the, the, yeah. the crown symbol on his head, like saying he should be king. I, I, I it just didn't look good. It, 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 it's kind of mm-hmm. like this. It's like a, a similar feeling to like opening night when the Lakers played the Clippers. Mm-hmm. And it was like Braun, like you know, you should be going harder tonight. That's how I felt. So what's his thing? He just doesn't have it. He don't want to give him too I, much. I, I, I don't know. I know. Honestly, I, I really don't know. Cause like I'm like looking to you like, yo, Braun, what the what the f are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, I just don't yeah. understand. Like, I watch him on League Pass and he's balling out on people, but then he's nationally televised games when it's like all the hype is there. And like he he made a comment before the game where he was like, well, it's just another regular regular season game. Don't nobody want to hear that, Braun. Like, I don't want to hear that. Like, I want to I want you to go out there. With the mindset that you're gonna win, that you're gonna prove that you're still king, you know all that stuff. I don't like you don't have to say anything about it, but just like I don't know, I don't want to hear the opposite. I don't want to hear oh it's just another regular season game, like our like it's not gonna kill us if we lose this game type shit, you know. Mm-hmm. It felt like, kind of like like a concession speech before you know before you actually walk into the battle. I don't like that, so that really bothered me, and I, I just didn't like what I saw from him. He he didn't seem to be like truly truly in attack mode a little too passive at times when mm-hmm. Gian- Giannis was clearly like bringing it to him and he just was being like passive i just didn't like the lack of aggressiveness aggressiveness i saw from him okay mm. did he watch the rockets clippers game i didn't watch the whole thing that shit go you know them games goes like one o'clock in the morning i went to sleep at like halftime at the time, the Rockets were down by like fifteen or something. No, oh. went to went to sleep on it. It looked like a blow early. How the Clippers look? <laughs> <laughs> From what I saw, deadly, sir. 
Paul George and mm-hmm. like Kawhi was beast. I don't I don't know what, I don't know what they finished because I didn't watch, I didn't look at the box score after, but Kawhi and Paul George were just taking like taking turns, just lighting lighting up the Rockets. Kawhi's mid range is mm. deadly, like deadly. Mm. Literally walking down the court, just shooting mid ranges. Yeah, and then Paul George on another level. Them new shoulders he got for real. Yeah, he just he just balling out on people. So they looked deadly in the first half. I don't know what happened in the second half, but the Rockets somehow came back and won. Yeah, I gotta see that game. Yeah, I'm about to look. I'm about to go on the. Uh, league pass and look at the condensed game and see what happened. Yeah, I gotta do the same actually. Mm-hmm. So what, who you got on Christmas? Lakers. I'm still like I'm still gonna ride and take Braun, but like after like after a certain like point, like he just has to I, I, I mean I would hope that he's being calculated in it. I just don't understand like, I just don't know what he's like what his end goal is. Maybe his end goal is like look like Maybe in his mind, it's like, yo, this really, this really doesn't matter. Like, yeah, have your little confidence, have your little boast. You know, you want on Christmas, you want open at night, and then when the playoffs come, that's what really yeah. matters. Because, like, realistically, history's only gonna remember the playoffs, like the finals. Mm-hmm. Like we sitting on, on a day to day basis, which is a side note, which is what I hate about like Michael Jordan, like commentators and and his praises. They act like on a game to game basis, like he never had a bad game or he never had a moment where people question, oh, why he did this or why he's playing like this. Like, you know, like now we watch every single game and I see LeBron and I see his flaws. I see a lot of players' flaws and I see like, you know, I question them game by game. But it's because I'm watching them daily, nightly, mm-hmm. I'm watching every single game. But when the season's over, if LeBron wins the championship, that's all I'm remember. Like, <laughs> yeah, when he hoist up that finals MVP. Yeah, I'm like, damn, all right, LeBron, you know? <laughs> That's, that's all I remember. And that's what history is going to remember. Yeah, that's you. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Braun should have won MVP this season. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Talk I'm, I'm back in hindsight. I'm back in all that now, yeah. Yeah, I mean. It's early still, but um, I'm slowly conceding Giannis just going to run away with this. And what do you think it would take for Braun to win MVP at this point? They got to stay neck and neck record wise. In their next meeting, he would have to outplay him just mm-hmm. to balance the narrative. Mm-hmm. Uh, he would have to up it a little bit for the mm-hmm. Lakers. They'd have to continue on this stretch. It, basically, things I don't think he should do. Because I don't yeah. think he has the energy as a whole to gun for MVP and have the required energy for what, we, what we're going to need in the playoffs. Yeah. To get the Larry O.B. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, uh, for, yeah, for him to win MVP right now, he'd have to go on like a monstrous. A night and night NBA. out run. Yeah. yeah, like they would have to like, I'm trying to think of something very extreme. Like they would have to break the Warriors regular season record. Like, for wins, <laughs> like he would have to like up his scoring average by like five points. Like it would have to be like some insanity now for for them to like just completely forget about what Giannis is doing and James Harden. Yeah, yeah, like at least like approach seventy, if not touch seventy. Like why? Yeah. Like, it's just yeah, it has to be some nuts shit that would not make sense, as you said, for them going forward with the end goal being the Larry O B. It would not make sense. I mean, I was taken aback when Davis had those comments before the season about he going to get LeBron on an all-defensive team. So, I mean. <laughs> I mean, he, LeBron he, is he, like. Yeah. Go ahead. Nah, I mean, Anthony Davis is definitely going to make the all-defensive all team this year. I mean, he's going to play of the year right now. Yeah, if you look at his stats, LeBron might, might make third team. All right. Okay. He got some numbers. He got some numbers on it. He might make with thirteen. Uh, I'm gonna least... say, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I'm gonna just say, settle for your third team All Defensive. You'll be back on uh, first team All NBA. You'll be the uh, All Star captain. Ooh. Ooh. And so you know you'll have all the regular stuff. He back All NBA again. What? Yeah, they're gonna put Braun on first team this year. Whoa, to whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what is there to think about? 
They put him on third team last year, beloved. He played fifty five games and his team and his his team sucked. Who was first team last year? Uh Durant and Giannis. Okay, and then, Durant and this year there's no way. He the best player on the and he has the stats and everything to prove it. It's gonna uh, be him and Giannis. Him, Giannis. Who else plays small forward? Paul George, Kawhi, yeah. Yeah, they'll it's give it to him. It's not even a discussion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, had to go, I had to think through. Yeah, you're talking about this like this one's a charity. No, I had to think. No, 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 no. That's wow. not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, I'm saying because they gave him third team last year, which I it. felt was a slap in the face. No, nah, that one was a gift. If you look at the that was a gift. He said was a that gift. was a gift. It was. I'm glad that he got it. That was a legacy? Yeah, that was a legacy. That was a... <laughs> it was a legacy. Oh, my God. This one's well earned. Well, my point yeah. being, just mm-hmm. settle for those. <laughs> settle for yeah. all those. Maybe get you an All Star Game MVP. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if he needs to do that. Because the MVPs, uh, I think we're those days might be done. Mm. Yeah, I'm starting to see a little bit too much parallel dribbling. Yeah. My God, damn! You know it's a it's an issue. Where you can't get around Brooke Lopez. When had they played prior? Tuesday. Yeah, Who? they lost to the Hornets, right? Not the Hornets, the Pacers, the Lakers. Yeah, Tuesday, and then they lost on Thursday. They lost two games in a row. All right, Nuggets. They at home against. All right. Say when no they more. play Nuggets Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? They better beat the Nuggets. They lose the Nuggets and then lose to the Clippers. That's a four-game losing streak. I mean, and I don't know. They're going to have three days off after that. Well, they, they'll they have three days off when they face the Nuggets and then another three before the Clippers. And they'll yeah, have no been excuse. at home. Yeah. Yeah, ain't no excuse. Now, they, they always give the Nuggets the work, though. So they we'll need to see. smack the Clippers, though. That's what I really care about. I do, too. I they too. lose on Christmas, like, and I and like right, honestly, not like not like lose, but like if they lose, lose where it's like, even if it's close, like my gut tells me you have no chance of ever of winning this game. Mm-hmm. That's gonna bother me as well. Yeah, you're never really. I can't, in it. I yeah, I can't have Kawhi, Kawhi Town. I'll stop it. I can't. That only happens in the in the playoffs. You gotta take it in the playoffs, bro. Imagine I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk into existence. Forget it. All right, then let's move on. <laughs> yeah, I think my heart will ache all summer. <laughs> oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> you can't come back from them. I don't want to pick nope. them. I don't want to have them. I want to have them if they're not needed. It's hard to come back. I have to start watching, stop watching Undisputed because you know Skip would just. Oh, no. Nah. Radio Silent all summer. Yeah. <laughs> My leader country. Yeah, I might have to. You leave all me no radical. choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. What else do we got? You got anything else for Christmas Day? I, I definitely do not. No. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about the, the Hall of Fame class. Yeah, you got potentially well, not potentially. There's people who are eligible for it. You got Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant, and Kevin Garnett are the and most Chris notable Bosch. names. That uh-huh. Chris, what? Well, what? Nah, they hear you, Kevin. And Chris, Bo- Christopher Bosch. What? You not all? Oh. You not all? So I uh, a Hall of Famer. I said the most notable names. I, I, you see when you put your, you see when you wrote down your notes. Did you put Chris Bosch in there? You had the opportunity to. These are your notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. That's valid. I did not. That's valid. <laughs> so your notes. And Chris Bosch. Not here Hall of Famer, though. Huh? Yeah, Olymp- I mean. Two rings. A ring. Olympic the NBA ring. Hall of, the NBA Hall of Fame is just like the basketball. 11 time Arsenal. Beloved. I know it just never felt 
Yeah. <laughs> it just don't. It, but also, I think it doesn't hit the same because his career ended so abruptly. Not his fault, obviously. And his class. I mean. Yeah, you with Kobe, Tim Duncan. His shows is above him. Yeah, Kevin Garnett. You shouldn't. You should just wait. If I was him, I'll have him. I'll have them like delay me to the following year. Yeah, there's like a tear before you get to the other three, and then Garnett got a. <laughs> He got to stop along the trail as well while Kobe and Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> you got like two of the, the best 10 players ever. Garnett ever. another top 20 and Bosh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You know. Bosh might have to give his speech first. Oh, without question. And it question, might not even get televised. His speech might not even get televised. Like, <laughs> nah, he's like... It got to be Bosh, uh, Garnett, Duncan, and then Kobe. Yeah, Kobe gonna get last just because. Even though, ooh, you think Tim Duncan's a better player than Kobe Bryant? I do, and I think he had a slightly better career. But I do as well. But Kobe's he doesn't the have Marcy. the personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, yeah. Kobe's Marcy. Yeah, Kobe definitely ended in that. Yeah. I want to see. Yeah, and I don't Tim Duncan. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Cut the broadcast. And he looking crazy nowadays. He got dreads <laughs> though, don't he? Dreads now, and he kickboxing. No, <laughs> we good. Thank God he picked up basketball, not something else. He, he free. <laughs> he free now. He free. Yeah, his uh, induction. He married to be. some some young girl now. He free. Yeah, I ain't gonna touch that. Yeah, no, I'm just saying his life changed. I'm, not happy for him. I'm happy. Yeah, for him. now he's trying to relive his twenties. They didn't announce who's going to induct these people, right? Nah, not yet. He definitely going to. I'd be surprised if he don't get popped to do his. Mm. I wonder who does Kobe's. Phil. Uh, Shaq. Uh, <laughs> who else do you think? I don't know. I know they made amends him and Shaq, but I don't know. You could be right. Who does Bosch's? Braun. Nah, you know he ain't. Come on. Nah. D Wade. D Wade, yeah. Braun might be in attendance. I don't know if he. uh... Damn, I wonder who does his when he retires. It depends. If Braun win win the championship, he's going to be in attendance. Oh, he's going to be everywhere. Yeah, if he don't win, he ain't going to be there. Yeah. That's true. If you don't win, especially depending on how they lose, we yeah, ain't gonna be... ring, we, 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 zero dark 30 for the whole yeah, summer. Yeah, you're going to be off the coast of somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yep. On this yacht, about 80 bottles might, of yep. wine. <laughs> you might post one picture with the hashtag more than just bas- more than basketball or some shit like that. <laughs> As he takes off on his charted yacht for a month, more than basketball. Stock to the brim with the wine. Yeah. <laughs> Savannah, take the kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh, my God. Mm-mm-mm. But, but yeah, I mean, so you asked if this is the best Hall of Fame class of all time. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be. Just, Just those three marquee things alone, yeah. Yeah, it has to be. That's mm-hmm. dope. Because other Hall of Fame classes, you get like some of the headliners be like coaches and GMs. Yeah. Like, relax, beloved. Yeah, they're going to have to t- give their speeches off uh, broadcast. <laughs> we need yeah. the full time allotted. This is going to be, yeah, this one's going to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to watch this. I normally don't watch like the Hall of Fame Same. inductions. But yeah, I'm gonna watch gonna Garnett slip up and curse. Yeah, he definitely uh, gonna curse. <laughs> he oh. definitely gonna curse. I just need to see what the hell Duncan says, and then Kobe should be the sit. Like, who knows? Yeah, yeah, we don't. Duncan. That's yeah, I don't. He, he might be out there for like. Years. He might be out there for like four or five minutes max. Like that's, that's Max. A good point, actually, yeah. <laughs> he probably gonna have the shortest Hall of Fame speech of all time. Yeah, he would pull one of those. Yeah. 
I'm laughing because I'm thinking, I'm thinking back about his MVP picture. <laughs> <laughs> David Stern's a patient man. Oh. <laughs> Yo, and Duncan don't like someone that's straight from the islands. Like, he got the sandals on. I would have pulled Pop to the side. Like, you let him come just <laughs> like that. <laughs> he thought he was killing, too. Yeah. <laughs> the toes all out. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like oh. an Islander, for real. I don't understand it. You a millionaire. Why you? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> um. Yeah, man, I'm definitely going to check that out, man. Let's see. What else? <sighs> mm, excuse me. Want to jump into the best of the year? Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't even know where to start with this. I don't either. I don't know. Let's give the give uh, the listeners a disclaimer. We're not gonna do best music of the year because Nah, I consume my music through playlists. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been a couple, um, al- couple albums hit me here or there, but not nothing yeah. I'm a, I'm a case for like that. I will honestly sl- say that I'm not that current on music at this at this time. And I wasn't I really picked, for the whole year. I just picked the playlist back up like last two weeks. <laughs> Spotify sent me my uh they do like the yearly like top songs for like 2019. Yeah. Spotify rap, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My wrap up. Mm-hmm. I think it's like 50 songs. Maybe one of them were from 2019. I, th- that's, that's what that's made maybe. me. I'm the same. Um, you know, I, I stay so, with Apple Music just so I can yeah. keep my old library and combine them so I don't have to delete mm. it. So they do a version of a uh, Spotify rap. It's called 2019 Replay. I got mm. my stats back. I made sure nobody else was around when I read them. Your old head? <laughs> oh, man. They started listening to like 54 artists this year. I'm like, damn. That's, that's it? 54 different artists, yeah. Sheesh. So, yeah, that's what made me. I added about six playlists after that. <laughs> Rap life. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get back into the, the groove. Defense. Yeah. So I've just been doing that the last couple couple weeks. Last yeah. week or two, actually, but yeah, music wise, so, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, hmm? so needless to say, people, we are not qualified to give nah. opinions on the best music of this year. Like mm. other, like other mediums, though, like some movies, but mostly shows. I could. There was a lot of good stuff there, but yeah, music. Next year, though, before we move on from that, mm-hmm. Drake, Kendrick, and and Cole. So I'll be back in the singer, the swing of things. Good, good, good. Thanks to hear. Yeah. All right. So, what are some of the uh, some of some good movies you've seen from twenty nineteen? Um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, that was Leo and Brad Pitt. Really, really good. Uh, Marriage Story just came out recently on Netflix. Oh, Pretty I, I, I'm actually gonna yeah. watch that today. I have that on my list. Yeah, it's really good. It's really. That's good. with Adam Driver, right? Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I'm a it yeah. Today. Yeah, I don't want to ruin the plot for you, but mm-hmm. it's, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, The Irishman that came out, I think a day phenomenal. before Thanksgiving. It really is phenomenal. phenomenal. I don't want to hear about the length of the, it was, yeah. Yeah, phenomenal. Like, I think that's going to age well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm big on those movies. I was really, because when I'd heard about it and how much money they spent on the de agent, I was just like, ooh, nah. Mm-hmm. I was dead wrong. That movie is, yeah, like you said. Phenomenal. That was a great movie. Yeah. It fell From right in line Nevada. with, um, like, the rest of Scorsese's, like, movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, the like good fell right, the, Yeah, you know, it fell yeah. right in there. Casino, all that stuff. I was like, oh, shit, this is good. Yeah, you can still, yeah, you can still get this vibe going. Yeah. I, I didn't know. I didn't know um, Pacino and De Niro still had those kind of performances in them. Joe so, Pesci, I ain't seen since... <laughs> Hey, I ain't seen yeah. Pesci since Home Alone. Like, <laughs> going out with, with Cully McCulkin. I ain't seen him since. 
man. Nah, I'm joking, but it's been a minute. I haven't seen Joe Pesci in a minute. So it was good to like see all of them like in one movie. But then so the crazy thing is, I didn't know much about like the backstory of the movie. Like I just yeah. saw like Netflix just alerted me. Netflix like emails you sometimes like, oh, we think you like this, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, oh shit, like this movie with Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in it. Mm-hmm. So then um sat down and we watched it, maybe oh, Thanksgiving and we watched it. Phenomenal. Yeah. Set aside those three and a half hours and mm-hmm. just just watch it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. It's really good it. film. Yeah. Uh, of course, Avengers Endgame for me. <laughs> mm, still yeah, haven't seen course. it. <laughs> uh, what else? I saw Joker, which was really good, really dark, but really good. Um, Joaquin Phoenix's performance, it was Great. phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, and then what? What I see, like a couple weeks ago, I saw this movie called Knives Out. It's like a a, a kind of who done it film. Um, assemble class, like assemble of class names, like what Daniel Craig, Chris Evans. It's like a bunch of <clears throat> sorry, who's who? Gotcha. That you didn't know, but it's like a, a fam, a old man dies, and it's like who doesn't. But I would recommend that too. Gotcha. I haven't gone to the theater much, but yeah, those are movies I saw that I was I would definitely recommend from this year. Have you seen uh, Queen and Slim? I haven't. You, I should, haven't, you no. should get that, get that, get on that. Yeah, that was a, a really good movie. Um, I hate to say it, but it's better than what I expected it to be. I mm. didn't have any expectations for it, especially because I forgot what movie we went to go see, and we saw that we saw the trailer while we were going to see another movie. What movie was that? Must have not been that good because I can't remember it. Um, and I was like, ah, that's going to be all right. But it actually was really good, like a really mm-hmm. good movie. I wouldn't, you know, I'm not doing backflips over it like a lot of people are doing, were doing on social media, but really good movie. I would okay. watch that for sure. Um, trying to think. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of nailed, uh, like, The Irishman. That was a good movie that I, I saw recently. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of movies from, like, earlier in the year that I've seen. Oh, I didn't Instead really. of like have it, having all this like recency it. bias. Yeah, I haven't hit the theater much. <laughs> I go to the theater pretty frequently now. It's like eight dollars for a movie down here. No, I want to because now, especially now doing award season, like I want to go see Uncut Gems. I want to go probably go see. I'm definitely gonna see that and, and Slim. Yeah, so oh, I saw John Wick three. <laughs> That was interesting. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. It was good. The, the other it two were pretty, the, really good. And I saw it too. Uh, not as good as the original, and too long. Entertaining, ah, but too long. What? I remember now. We went to go see Hustlers. That was a good movie. Yeah, I heard that was a really good movie. Yeah, we went to go see Hustlers, and that's when I saw the trailer for Queen and Slim. And mm-hmm. that's yeah. Hustlers, that was a good movie. I would say that was one of the one of my uh, best movies of 2019. How did I forget about that movie? That was a really good movie. That was better than mm-hmm. I expected as well. Um, yeah, that's really yeah. That's all I really seen. Yeah, I feel you. What you about see, uh, uh, Eddie Murphy's yeah. movie? I didn't. I heard that was good though, and it's just it is good. Dolomite yeah. is my name. Yeah, that was good. No, I'm gonna I'm get to that because it's so easily accessible. I yeah, Netflix. It's right there, yeah. That was a good movie too. I, I would I would spend some time and watch that. Okay. hmm T V series. About- yeah. Uh kinda dry on those, man. I've been Nah, I got after I watched this. I watched I watched Barry. Was that this? That was early in this year. Yeah. Barry. Uh-huh. That was good. Mm-hmm. You don't watch the power. Oh, <laughs> Phenomenal. So you don't know the show, but like they Ghost was like one of the main characters of played by Omari Hardwick. Mm-hmm. So he got shot before, like he got shot maybe three weeks ago now. So like it ended on like a who shot you, and like mm-hmm. the show comes back January sixth, and um we don't know who shot him. We don't know if he's dead or what. So I've just been like living in suspense for like six weeks now. 
phenomenal show. So, but it's like that's like this is the last season of Power. So Power, mm-hmm. that I watched. I, obviously, I watched that. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I really. I think that might be it, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, oh, I saw a couple of really good shows that I would recommend. Um, on my HBO tier, Watchmen, Chernobyl, Succession, Euphoria, and Barry are all phenomenal shows. Watchmen uh, is good. Watchmen is really good. They use the source mm-hmm. material of the comics about superheroes living in a world. <clears throat> I don't want to ruin. They tell a story. No, about I, 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 I know the concept of the show. I've, 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 I've like started the first episode, but yeah. So I, I fell asleep on it. But the reason why I really didn't want to give it a chance is just, just because the um the main image Regina King looks crazy to me in that image. I, I just don't, I don't I didn't I don't oh, take no, Regina I, King seriously as a superhero. So, but I should I should dabble in it. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I don't want to give too much plot away, but yeah, you should. Uh, okay. Chernobyl was really good. It was a limited series they did based on um, uh, that nuclear reactor that exploded. I forgot what year that was in Chernobyl, and the lead up and aftermath. It's like a. It was like five episodes. It was so mm-hmm. good. It was so yeah, yeah, amazingly acted. And it's like five episodes. Um, Succession. I I just love. I love that show. It's probably my favorite. Um, loosely, loosely based on a Murdoch family. And it's just about this media titan and his kids and who's going to succeed and take his throne and the family dynamics around it. Amazingly acted. Uh, so well done show. Euphoria. Nuts. Nuts. That's a, this is more um, high schoolers mm. and just any possible thing that could uh, secretly gay, d- doing drugs. Um, prostitution like just all the the ills that can like plague like adolescents coming up and the things you struggle with and stuff i think drake's an executive producer on it but zendaya is the um she's the main protagonist and she is really good in it i think it was like 10 episodes over the summer but yeah really good and yeah barry love barry bill haters like great And that, the one episode you told me about, you know the one I'm talking about, it's probably like the craziest thing I've seen on TV all year with the daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, the, it's probably the craziest yeah episode I've seen on TV all year. So love yeah. that show. I love HBO. They, I love I HBO. I can't wait for that show to come back. And all, mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, that's uh, it. Aside from that. Yeah, that's all HBO. Amazon. I watched uh, Fleabag and Catastrophe. I think Ooh. you can watch. I watch both the of latest those seasons shows. of both. Yeah, you can watch the latest combined, probably in like four hours combined. Yeah, These are like very 20 short. and really good. It's yeah. really, really good. I, I watch both of those shows. Those are really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Netflix. There's a show that came out at the beginning of the year called Russian Doll. I liked. Um, this girl was like living in a loop. Uh, recreating the same day she died, and it's about how she trying to gets out of that. It's called Russian Doll. It's pretty good. What else? That's about it. Oh, there's a show called Umbrella Academy. Their version of like a superhero. A uh, typical. Yeah, you know yeah. And Mind Hunter. Yeah. And Stranger Things. Damn. What? Yeah. That's it. That's it. This thing, you should be oh, a TV critic. And who on Hulu? Handmaid's Tale on Hulu. Really good. You should be a TV critic. There was a lot of good TV. There's so much I'm missing. There was a lot of good TV, but that's all I could get to. Gotcha. But yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, also, I also jotted down just some crazy ass moments. I just ran through my, I ran through the year and I would just thought, what's the craziest stuff? Or just things of interest. And just off mm-hmm. the top of my head, anything Trump related, uh, Jesse Smollett, the Michael Jackson doc, the AD trade. Um, what else came to mind? Oh, Kawhi being the Warriors. Was well, just like 
I forgot some of this stuff happened in the year until I went through our episode description and then I remembered mm-hmm. like some of this stuff <laughs> happened during the year. So much death happened this year too. Mm. Nipsey dying, Juice World just recently passed. Yeah. Ugh, a lot of uh, a lot of triple, triple X. Oh X, X. yeah, Ten Stacion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he passed. Um damn a lot happened this year. The R. Kelly doc was this year. Oh yeah, surviving R. Kelly. That was a good a good doc. And it fun, yeah. Finally, it's on Netflix it. now. <laughs> if you ever want to go back and watch it again, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going. What Magic got on TV and started snitching. He got. He remember he cried and quit. <laughs> yeah. I, I ain't gonna be here. <laughs> Jesus. Dame beat uh the Warriors with a walk off shot. Damn. The yo. Warriors? The, the Thunder. I, the Thunder. No, the yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah. A lot happened. What a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I guess as a in conclusion, how was the year for you before we wrap up? It was good. I mean, obviously, I moved to, I moved, I left New York, moved to Charlotte. So that was a big deal. Still, still an adjustment. I mean, outside of that, I mean, I finally broken the big law, which is something that I was, you know, yearning to do for years. So that was a positive for me. Got engaged. A lot of, a lot of change in my life in 2019. Um, so, yeah, I would say the year overall was, has been positive to me. Nice, man. Good. Mm-hmm. What about you? Yeah, yeah. overall, um, roller coaster of a personal life that I think is uh, stabilized now. Um, <laughs> professionally, I uh, hit some benchmarks I wanted to professionally and uh, still trending up there. So I'm happy for that. Family, for the most part, is good and healthy. Unfortunately, I had uh, my grandmother pass. But um, aside from that, though, everyone's good. Uh, pot's still going uh, well. I met a lot of positive people through the pod, and friends and family are doing well as a whole. My girlfriend's well. We're doing good now. And, yeah, just looking forward to the next decade. But, yeah, Oof. overall... That's crazy. Yeah. Next decade. Yeah. Started this one swiping cards. <laughs> <laughs> For seven and a quarter an hour. Felt like a hundred. <laughs> Yo, make a twenty dollar last for me. Oh. Jesus. That's crazy. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. We we save it a stretch twenty dollars. Oh. The good yeah, old not- days. Word. That's crazy. We came we, we came into the decade swiping cards. <laughs> Y'all were scammers? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh my God. Damn, time is flying. It really is. <laughs> and next decade we're gonna be going into our forties. God bless America. Yeah. Let me ride out these 20s first. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Let me not think about that. Yeah. Let me enjoy Wanna my youth this? while I... Yeah. I enjoy you. my youth while I have it. Sheesh. Amen. Amen. Um, Shout out to all our friends. Go. And all yeah. those that got engaged and married and had kids. Shout out yeah. to all of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. We trying. We Happy trying. Happy for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but Couldn't you make didn't. Out the... <laughs> Couldn't make out the decade unscathed. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> nah, so shout close. to those kings. Shout to those kings so and queens. <laughs> so close. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Another. Oh, another. I guess we'll tie this in to like the end of the end of the decade. We got Takashi mm-hmm. getting off. Well, he didn't get off completely after all the snitching. He got two years. You have any thoughts on that? Uh, everything I was reading had him like automatically coming home. Like the mm-hmm. expectation was that automatically the judge would just 
grant him that level of leniency. And I'm starting my head, like, what if he didn't? So that, that was kind of crazy to see. But, I mean, on a grand scheme of things, you you shaved off 45 years from your sentence. And I was reading he might get 13 months served mm-hmm. on the two years. So he could be home by next, um, next December. Mm-hmm. But you're going to be in prison for, like, the next year at least. That's rough. That's rough. Yeah. And I know... I don't know, but I would have to think if we're reading all these, his expectation, given everything he did, must have probably been that he was going to be walking home now. So, uh, yeah. the whole si- so that must be tough for him, but it could be tougher. The whole situation as a whole is crazy and just a reflection of the the, the times we're living in, the social media times. That one of the most prominent, we watch one of the most prominent artists, um, join a gang when well, then became a prominent artist. And then we could follow his testimony day by day if we want on social media. And the ins and outs, we could listen to t- the whole situation is just nuts. And now he's mm-hmm. like, and now he's gonna be coming home. I don't know. I I fear for him. Like that is like you're gonna be looking over the, your shoulder for the rest of your life. But yeah. that's not a life I'm accustomed to. No, nah, and that's I'm- that's exactly where I was gonna like take it to. It's just like when he does get out, like, your life is never the same. That, and I don't want to get too dark, but who knows where they're keeping him? What are the affiliations where they keep him? Is he going to be in solitary? Is he going to be by himself? What kind of, like, all of these things are a factor. None of my concern. I just want to make sure the coffee yeah. beans are right in my coffee when I get them. <laughs> That's not <laughs> So I don't, but for those in that life, Thoughts and prayers, man. We shall end on that note. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Sure my coffee beans are right. Yeah, man. I just got an electric kettle. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> you out, you fancy. Nah, Secret Santa's <laughs> good to me. Mm-mm-mm. As always, people, thank you for your support of the podcast. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, we got go one more. This is our last one of the year. We got one more. Well, our next one is going to... Oh, going to drop. Yeah. On the, New yeah. Year's. So I okay. guess this is the last one of the... Yeah, this is the last uh, episode. Well, just a note then to all the listeners. I would just say thank you for uh, all the listeners, all mm-hmm. the downloads, the views, the likes, the shares. You know, we've continued experience growth. And, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed. And it's mm-hmm. all really, truly appreciated. And I would just say mm-hmm. we're continuing to work. We're continuing to work. Mm-hmm. We got some stuff behind the scenes. We're just continuing to keep consistent, flesh this out more. But yeah, we just want to make the, the next decade our biggest. So thank you. Thank you for mm. being on this journey with us so far. I second everything Kevin just said. And the... Uh... As again, yeah, as Kevin said, like um, your support does not go unnoticed. Uh, we would not have been able to grow at all without our listeners and our viewers and all the downloads and the shares and just the little things that you know may only take one second to you, but it means everything to us and uh, for the podcast. And that support goes a long way. So we really appreciate all of that. Um, and we're gonna keep you know grinding out for the next decade and seeing where this podcast can go and trying to take it to new heights and, you know, hopefully branch it out onto new platforms <clears throat> and all that good stuff, you know, for all your entertainment purposes, we will be here. Uh- you cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out.